Hey there, Fox. Today we are going to have a kick-ass trading session. And guess what? Yep, you are right. You can make some quick cash in the span of 15 minutes of your time. So let's get rolling. Well, just place the bet on the USD and Canadian dollar pair, thinking it's gonna dip in the next couple of minutes. Well, you can see that the price is knocking at the resistance level's door, so I bet it's gonna get down. Plus, all three of our indicators are shouting overbought and look like they're ready to head south. For the pros here, I've set the CCI period to 20, the RCI is rocking a period of 7, and for Williams, we're looking at a period of 14. Well, if you're a newbie, just don't mind this information. Well, if you are a newbie, okay, let me break something down. Trading sessions can vary. Some traders are glued to the screen all sessions long, while others just dip in and out. Everyone's got their own groove, and that's absolutely cool and that's okay, but regardless of how you roll, consider a few things when picking a trading strategy. Different markets have different hours, so often tied to where they're located. Like if you're trading Forex, it's a 24-hour party because it spans different time zones. Some strategies need you to be active when the market is all buzzy and jumping, like during market open and close. Lastly, every trader's rhythm is different, so you gotta match your trading times with your own schedule and comfort level. So always remember, because you need to set your goals, you need to know your experience and handle those risks, so always remember that you choose the rules here. Boom! We are in the green fox, made a sweet $760. Now diving right back in going bullish on the next pair for the next couple of minutes. The price is cuddling up to a solid support level. I've got a good feeling it's gonna take a turn upwards. Let's check if my feeling is right. And hey, our trusted trio of indicators. Look, they're all screaming undervalued. Now, for those of you scratching your heads about the best trading times, I've got you. When you trade, uh, when you trade, and it's like it's like a really big difference when you trade, because the London session, London is kind of like the big boss of finance, and it's perfectly placed to catch both the European and North American markets from 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. The USA session, it's about 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. GMT, and it's America's time to shine. Trading is lively. Oh, and a hands up, watch out for big news during this time because this big news can really shake things up on the market. Oh snap, we are on a roll, just back at ourselves $490, so I'm diving in on the USD Canadian dollar pair, but it is gonna dip for a quick two minutes. The price has hit this resistance level and I reckon it's gonna take a tiny step back to master up some energy before rocketing up again. I'm cashing in on this little dip, plus our three indicators, they're all saying it's overbought. Well, getting back to times, the Asian sessions, it kicks off at 10 p.m. GMT, wrapping up at 8 a.m. GMT. It's a bit chill, mainly because of the low liquidity, especially in the beginning. Well, when these sessions overlap, stuff gets real. It's like a trading party. The crossover of the London and US sessions. Oh man, that's when it's all happening. Super volatile, so big bags could be made or lost with those currency fast swings, so be careful. Well, there are also times you maybe skip because some traders dodge those slow moments like after the US session shuts down and before London wakes up. The market is a bit sleepy and unpredictable then, so it's trickier to make a good call and make some money in these times. So the best time to trade is like morning or midnight. It's a bit of mix, 
So it's your vibe, it's the session's vibe, it's your game plan and the tools you pick, it's your strategy, it's your choice. Yo, we're up and looking good. Just pocketed at $690. I'm jumping into a quick two minute trade on the Australian dollar, USD dollar, betting it's gonna drop. The price has caused it up to the super solid resistance level and I doubt it's busting through that anytime soon. Plus, those three indicators of ours totally saying it's overbought and about to take a little humble. Hey Fox, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you won't miss on any of my new videos. And check the video description for links to my telegram channel. Over on the channel, I'm dropping daily trading signals and hey, if you send me a message on telegram, I will hook you up with a link to sign up on Pocket Option and you can score a 50% deposit bonus for free. Mornings can be sweet for trading guys, especially if you are into some lively market action. Usually early in the trading day there is more hassle and bustle, meaning currency pairs and financial tools can be a bit wilder. So more chances to hit those successful tradings. Well nights can be more chill, with less of those big swings, especially super late. But don't think the night is dead, there is still cash to be made and some traders dig the calmer vibes and less crowd jostling around and they prefer to actually trade at night. Plus, if you're saving about time zones, you can use the night to trade and pop in markets on the other side of the globe. Why not? Wow, we're kicking off on a high note. I just made a sweet $810. Going for a quick two minute trade on the Euro USD, betting it's about to drop. Check this out, there is no resistance here. The price has been going up for a while, but it can't keep doing that forever, right? So it's gotta pull back a bit, kinda like taking a breather before it keeps on with the trend. Plus, all our three indicators the screaming overbought, baking up my thoughts there. Right. Now, guys, a little nugget of wisdom. One big thing about picking when to trade, it's all about the market session that fits your vibe and strategy. Like, if you are into the Forex game, the London and US sessions. So they're pretty wild, so mornings and evenings are best thing. Keep in mind, though, that there is some major financial news that can shake things up again. So usually drop in the morning or evening. So if you're basing your moves on big news, stay updated on that schedule. At the end of the day, the best trading time is kind of up to you and your groove and your vibe because mornings might give you more action while nights are more of a chill thing. But remember, trading is all about staying on your toes, always learning and rolling with the market's punches. Remember, it's all about you and how you feel it. Hey, we're ending strong, up another $720. That's put our session in total earnings at a whopping $2,710. Thanks to everybody who has tuned into this trading session. Watch my other videos on my channel for more tips and cool insights. Catch you later, guys. Bye!